Hi there, Aquarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. Take it if it fits. Leave it if it doesn't. I hope you and your loved ones are doing amazing. Let's see what we've got coming through for Aquarius. Please and thank you. From the Soul's Journey lesson cards for Aquarius. Please and thank you, Spirit, Universe, Angels, Ancestors of Love and Light, and Guides. We have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Um, instantly, I feel like you guys are doing your own research. You're studying some things. I am specifically hearing projects. Um, you're going down the rabbit hole, but you know what? This awareness is allowing you to grow, be more connected with earth, with, um, I want to say dimensions, but let's save that for a moment. Let me get into the surrender cards. For Aquarius, please and thank you, spirit, angels, ancestors of love and light and guides, universe, Surrender card for, thank you, <laughs> Aquarius. Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation or information, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. You're here to gain information and knowledge. That's what you're doing right now. And this information is allowing you to grow consciously. Your awareness is expanding, becoming more aware, but not getting wrapped in the drama and the low vibration, the upset when you realize what all has been going on, especially with these experiments. I mean, in the States alone, the U.S. has been experimenting with us since, what, the 40s at least? You're not getting wrapped in the drama of it, though. You just want to become aware of what's really going on in the world, what has been really going on, where might we end up. You're probably just trying to be prepared here is what I'm getting, Aquarius. Let's see what we get, though, from the Light Seer's Tarot. For Aquarius, please and thank you. That was the messiest shuffle I've had yet today. Let's try that again. For Aquarius, please and thank you. Universe, spirit, angels, ancestors of love and light, and guides. Thank you. Justice. Libra energy, page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Again, you're not getting wrapped up in the drama. I don't know why I channel Ant so much with this energy, but it's, again, keeping it popping, pushing, and moving forward. You guys know Ant from Cancer Moons? I don't know why, but I have been channeling that phrase, keep it popping, pushing, and moving forward. That's him. That's his thing. That's what he says. Um, I keep hearing that. I wonder if a lot of you guys watch his content, too. I wouldn't be surprised. He's amazing. <laughs> I would suggest checking him out if you haven't yet. Cancer Moons. Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. I'm feeling High Priestess energy with this. I saw it in the shuffle. There's the Eight of Pentacles. This is for the tarot readers. This is for the psychics, the mediums. Didn't I just say I felt the high priestess? We got the eight of pentacles, the empress, and the high priestess all right here. That three of swords, though, like amidst all the, the chaos, it's like you're just taking the information. You're not trying to... You're not falling for the fear tactic that comes with this stuff that you're researching. Does that make sense? Some of you are psychics and you're doing a lot of readings right now. There's a lot of breakups. There's a lot of breakups.
There's a lot of people going their separate ways. Yeah, to plant new seeds. Death, rebirth. Yeah, there's a lot of breakups. There's only one person here and there's no boats. There could be one coming, obviously, but I don't see one right now. What's with all the breakups? Maybe it's just connections that don't serve each other anymore. Oh, the breakups could also be um, you're no longer taking part with certain companies because of things that they did or... Um, I see. You're also surrendering people that have a lot of drama, negative energy. Mm-hmm. Eight of Swords. Trying to project their problems onto you and make them your problems too. Well, you're my friend. Help me with this. Eh, you got yourself in that situation. I did not. I don't actually have to help you with that. I'm actually busy doing something else over here. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I feel like you got something new going on. And it's beautiful. It's happy. It's going to take you places. Meanwhile, you've got some kind of dramatic energy that's trying to get your attention. I don't think it's working, though, Aquarius. <laughs> as much as they're trying, I just don't. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands. Your foundation is so strong, so solid that you're just rising above whatever this is. And you're like, no, that's a flag and I'm not about that life. Some of you guys could be meeting somebody new as well. There could be somebody coming in. Yep, Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody who is a reciprocated person. This is somebody who they gives they give back to the people that invest in them. This is somebody that likes to keep things balanced, even especially with the Queen of Swords sitting on the other side of this Four of Wands here. Oops, that Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles is a lot of balance, a lot of what's fair, what's right, what's just, right? We have justice here too. Guys, I have a cat in my window right now that's, like, meowing. I don't know if the camera's picking up on that. I do apologize for it. We had the, the high priestess came out. So, yeah, we've got tarot readers here. We have psychics here. Your intuition can pick up on other people that are also intuitive. Gifted. I feel like I got this for some other sign earlier, but there's light workers coming together to plant some seeds. It's like a group project. We all come together and do some serious work here. Somebody could be getting together to make sure twin flames or sacred unions, sacred meetings are taking place. Like people that are supposed to meet each other in order to open new doors for each other. Help to grow and evolve each other. You got to surrender the drama for that. But I think that's why. I think you already did. If you look at the Queen of Swords, um, she turned her back on that Eight of Swords. Which is somebody projecting trying to control your narrative, bringing in the drama, pulling you into their business when it's none of yours and you don't want nothing to do with it, right? I don't think you're telling a lot of people what you got going on, probably wise. But you're really only surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded. Free-spirited. Truly living in an unconditional love type of way. People that choose to focus on the positive. What can we do with this information? We could sit here and we can be upset or, or or we can just not have anything to do with whoever it is that's stirring up the drama or did. 
I'm also getting somebody switching their political views. I really don't want to get into that right now, but I do see that here, so I'll mention it real quick. I do, though. I feel like there's somebody new coming in. And you guys are going to really help each other grow. I think you've both grown in a very similar way. But, like, you've got more tips and tricks about how to plant seeds. And you're going to share that with this person. And then they've got more tips and tricks about certain actions that you can do, like, day to day even. And they're going to give you that. Like, you guys are really helping each other. I like it. It's collective work here. I'm also getting, if you are a tarot reader, your readings are going very, very well right now. Like, you're on freaking point. Absolutely on point. And there are people you haven't met yet that you're about to meet. You can feel it. Even though you can't see it, you can feel it. Trust that. You could also be receiving new gifts. I've been pointing this out. Our Schumann resonance, one of the only things that science and the spiritual community actually agree on, is that the earth does have a frequency, and that frequency does affect your brain waves. Now, normally our Schumann resonance is a little over, I'm sorry, a little under 8, 8 hertz, but right now it's uh, 24.5, so triple a little over three times what we're used to. So don't be surprised if you get new gifts and you meet new people and things start going really, really well out of nowhere and likely under the radar. As I said that, I hear a bird start crowing and it's raining, so the birds should not be out. Interesting that they are. Anyways, we've got Pisces, Libra, Libra on the board. Earth signs and fire signs as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to leave this one here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.